So w yesterday, me and Andy were talking about. <laughs> Ugh. Oh my god. Okay, so yesterday me and this guy are talking about our favorite sports movies of all time. My personal favorite, Mr. Baseball with Tom Selleck. <laughs> Japanese baseball. <laughs> it's funny. Sports movies are the greatest. I mean, you can have, you know, the underdog who goes against all odds and beats them all and comes out and wins the big game. Or you can just have some kind of crazy gimmicky shtick like a zebra racing horse dog. <laughs> right, or like, um, you remember in Mighty Ducks 2 where that kid has the knuckle puck? That's crazy! But you know what we've realized? There are literally no movies about golf. And we think it's time to take Hollywood to the country club. You're telling me that there are no golfing movies? Nuts, right? <laughs> With a golf movie, you could go, you could swing for the fences and you could go for Oscar gold. But you know what I say? Get out of here! Let's go for the summer blockbuster! We're gonna bring you a movie that has it all. I'm talking greed, family, death, sex, stuff, and most importantly, the ninth most popular sport in the world, golf! Billionaire Bill Long died suddenly today of a heart attack on the golf course. Now wonders who will inherit the $18 billion estate. The will will be read today at noon. Let's get right to it. I'm going to read this will. The last will and testament of Bill Long reads, The $18 billion inheritance shall go to the son that wins a game of golf? It can't be. No, that's what it says. Good luck. What's the matter? Can't I show my baby brother how to really play golf? You little numb nuts prick. Hey, big brother, I don't even need a golf club to beat your ass. Double or nothing. <laughs> Talk about a hole in one. Why was he kicking the ball? What was that? That's our gimmick. He kicks the ball. Regardless, while I was watching that, I couldn't help but think about other movies that had to do with golf, like Caddyshack, uh, Tin Cup, Happy Gil- <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. Thank you.